guys, my name's Ian Donald. Welcome to the first Freedive UK uh, review video. We're going to be doing a series of these videos just trying to help you guys pick the right kit. Uh, what we have here is the uh, Fins for You Pure Evolution Carbon Freediving Fin. Um, it's, a, it's a really good fin actually. I mean this is uh, uh, probably one of the top end uh, carbon fins that you can get from Fins for You. It's a, a UK brand uh, based uh, based here I think they're made here as well um, and what they've started to do is they've started to put together a really good selection of fins um, some of which come from leader fins but they've created their own brand here good points uh, super light I mean really really light I mean this fin I haven't got a weight for it exactly but I mean you know the balance the weight in itself is so good uh, you really don't notice it on your foot at all um, as far as kind of the overall shape, it's pretty much a standard kind of shape fin. Uh, it's pretty long, it's just under a meter long or so. This is a medium softness fin, all right? So um, a lot of people ask me what type of fin, what stiffness they should get, because that's kind of the question that a lot of people have. Um, medium softness for me is perfect. Uh, I'm about six foot three. Uh, I'm probably about 13 and a half, 14 stone, kind of thin, tall. Uh, and that's absolutely fine for me. A lot of people will end up buying fins that are far too stiff for them. And if you end up getting a fin that's too stiff for you, all it's going to do is going to waste a load of energy. All right. So if you imagine you've got a really stiff fin, yeah, it gives you loads of power, loads of speed, but that's not really necessarily what we want when we free dive. We want something that's just going to bend with us, go with us, flow with the motion. Um, and so a medium stiffness fin, certainly in this one, is absolutely perfect for me. Um, but you can see the kind of flex you get with that and I'm putting a fair amount of effort into pushing that through. What it does really well is it transfers the power in a really good way. It, it, it has a progressive kind of bend to it. And what this means, because of the stiffness of the rails on the early part of the fin, it means that as you push pressure on the fin, okay, this part here bends a lot less than this part here. All right? So we've got a nice reactive flippy end of the fin but this part here all right, just progresses very slowly. So essentially what we've got is a stiffer section running up the first bit and then it's a lot softer coming into the last bit. Bad points, bad points of the fin. Um, this foot pocket, the Pathos Fireblade foot pocket, although very, very light, uh, is for me really uncomfortable. All right, so um, I'm okay all day in it, but by the end of the day, I'm really feeling it. Uh, now, they do do two different stiffnesses of the actual foot pocket. So this is one of the early models that they sent through. And um, this section here, okay, this section here uh, is actually very stiff. You can almost see. So if I push here, it's nice and soft, okay? And I push here, very little movement, all right? Um, this adds a lot of power, all right? But it pushes down on the top of your foot. So if you've got like a high arch, so I've got quite a high arch, you see, if I push my hand up, you see that? It just won't go, that middle section won't go. So it's nice and soft up here, but then it gets really stiff here. Now, uh, there is a softer version of this, but I do believe it still has a, a fair amount of stiffness to it. Another bad point of this fin is, uh, again, it's kind of related to the foot pocket. Uh, this is not an interchangeable blade. I mean, it is to some extent, but it's gonna be a nightmare to do it. Basically, the whole thing is completely glued in, all right? There's no screws. Right, there's nothing to uh, allow you to swap one in or out. So if it breaks, uh, you're going to have to have a bit of serious kind of DIY in order to uh, to fix it. Okay, so uh, if I had to give these fins a score, all right, so uh, out of ten, uh, the overall fit, uh, fit and fit and comfort, I would say uh, it's got to be something like about a six, okay, because and it's really due to this particular uh, foot pocket, um, which isn't bad, but. You know, it's not great. Performance, uh, performance, amazing. Okay, you're going to really, really maximise your dive potential with a fin like this. Uh, it's, it's really got to be something like a nine out of ten or something. Um, I'd say the only thing that drops it down is probably that these rails aren't maybe as deep enough as I would like. Okay, and they miss out this top section here. Okay, so there isn't much uh, progression in this part here. Price. Okay, so uh, these do vary a little bit in price. So I'm not exactly sure what these got it on sale for at the moment. Uh, they sit around a £200 mark, which is obviously, you know, it's an expensive fin. Um, but this is kind of your top end sort of fin. And compared to some of the other top end carbon fins on the market, that's a really good price. 
price to be fair so I mean you'll be paying maybe 300 sometimes 400 pounds for a really top end fin and this does fall into that same kind of ballpark for a price point for uh, you know for that 200 pound mark I'd give it a good mark I'd say maybe like 8 out of 10 okay 8 out of 10 for the price what else is to say I mean it's a good fin it works well um, it's kind of a good price uh, it's definitely going to be uh, a fin down the line, perhaps. Maybe it's not your first fin. Uh, maybe not even be your second fin. You know, it's going to fall into that kind of like, oh, I've been free diving for long enough to warrant something that's this efficient. And you will notice a difference. I mean, if you've gone from like a carbon, uh, like a plastic blade to a blade like this, it's going to be a world of difference. You won't notice it on your feet. It will just flow nice and easily. And that's exactly the kind of thing you want. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, hope that was useful for you so uh, remember to uh, subscribe to us so we're going to do loads of more of these videos we're going to do some technique videos uh, we're going to do uh, dive site reviews we're going to do as much of stuff we can possibly do give you guys as much information as we can uh, remember to uh, check us out on twitter and facebook um, and uh, check out the website freediveuk.com all right thanks very much bye